Friday. I want to wait here a little after 3 a.m. It is now Thursday, December 17th. I've been up. I've got the uh, new computer up and running. I got it online tonight. Got all the drivers sorted out. Got the, I think most of the sound drivers sorted out. Uh, came in, opened up Minecraft, and I had 60 FPS. My previous eye on this computer that we're recording from now was, I believe, like 13 sometimes. Maybe, maybe a 14 or a 15. But uh, generally, I was like somewhere in like the uh, 11 to 13 range. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, quite the upgrade there. So uh, look for some cool stuff coming from that in a little bit. But that's kind of why we've been sidetracked. Haven't been uh, working on Wave 3 stuff as much. But what we will do now, we're going to go ahead and pull Nightfall. Uh, so getting her some cash for upgrades. And for the first time, uh, is this intro 28 or 9? Somewhere in there, I think 28. Don't hold me to that, but we're gonna throw down Big Bubble Pop Fizz. The motion of the but he still looks dorky with that thing, but he looked way better in the game. His figure was extremely disappointing, in my opinion. So, uh, oddly enough, he's got decent health. Let's get over here and enter it into our handy dandy spreadsheet. And Squeaky Chair is still here. <laughs> Despite building a computer, I still use a 1950s ice cream parlor chair. So, uh, Big Bubble Pop is health 300. Okay, that says idle animation. There's no sound coming out of it. Okay, so there's kind of like a potion, you know, packet in there. I guess bubble mix or something. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at his stats. Now that's strong. All right, so up we go. Max health is 300 speed. I'm just going to log that as 43 because somewhere along the way we have added bonuses to ourselves and I don't quite remember where, but uh, the armor is a huge one, but uh, we would be sitting at 24 on the armor. Critical hit would be 4. Elemental power, 25. So, let's see if that compares with the strategy guide. 343, 24, 4. Yes, so uh, everything seems to be in line there. Now, Magic Element Showdown here. We got Big Bubble Pop Fizz versus Splat. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So, plus 60 health for Big Bubble Pop Fizz. Same speed, plus 18 armor, same critical hit. So, statistically and numerically, uh, the title would go to Big Bubble Pop Fizz. Aesthetically, I'm sorry, Pop Fizz, but you lose. <laughs> this is It's just such a... I, I mean, I guess, given what he's got, it's actually a decent pose. It's just a... I don't know, the face, man. I think the that look right there was the wrong choice for the pose, but uh, that's just me. We'll go ahead and come down here. I'm hoping that since the figure kind of sucks, in my opinion, his upgrades will be good. That's sort of his saving grace. If the upgrades are good and he plays well, I could care less what the figure looks like. It could be a pink ball of yarn for all I care. No offense, Yarn Yoshi. But, uh, anyway, let's see here. His new primary attack, keep in mind these returning characters, you're like, ah, I don't need another Pop Fizz, I've got seven of them. No, no, no. Totally reimagined new upgrades, new moves, that's why you go out and pick them up. Uh, even if they are funky looking like he is. So, uh, does anyone else feel that way? I've kind of covered it in the unboxing, but I mean, I just, out of all the figures we've unboxed for superchargers, his has just been... Straight, you know, like there's ones like, you know, Gilgrun that's kind of like, ooh, that's cool, you know, kind of a neat touch. Uh, Lava Lands Eruptor, fantastic. Splat looks pretty good. New characters are pretty sweet. And we get Big Bubble Pop Fizz, and it's just like disappointment. I don't know if it's because I like him, and so I hold him to a higher standard. I don't know. But anyway, his new primary is Bubble Blast. Press X to blow bubbles that bounce on their way to enemies. Generally, I don't like bubble attacks. <laughs> so, Bubbling Beast Form. This remains, so that's kind of a cool thing. Uh, we might just go with that path if it gets one. Uh, press B to transform into a beast. Press X to attack nearby enemies with claws. So, B into beast mode, X, claws. Next four will be his base upgrades. We've got Mixture Modifier. Keep in mind, all prices are reflective of a max discount of 20% via Tin Wing Sapphires. Press Y to cause a chemical reaction and transform the color and effects of liquid attacks. Okay, so that's kind of the uh, same thing there, but do they mean bubbles? Like, the that makes no sense, really. Know your bases. All base liquid attacks do more damage. They must mean bubbles, right? 
because there's no other attack. <laughs> it's like, so Y is going to change between the three colors. Um, and I guess the bubble they assume is liquid. Right, that's what I'm taking from this. Up next is genetic engineering. This, this kind of looks interesting. Press Y while in beast mode to perform. Okay, that'll be fun. Uh, and then lastly, we've got side effects. After reverting to normal pop fizz, gain a temporary defense boost. Okay, so that'll be fantastic. And this is already favoring beast mode. If you, Did they call it beast mode here? Hmm. Because I always call it beast mode, and it's beast form. So... I guess they're not outlining it just yet. Okay, I always felt like it should be beast mode and not beast form, but whatever. Uh, top path here, what does the strategy guide call this? It is... Alchemic Maestro Path. So, larger lungs is up first. Hold X to perform improved liquid attacks. Is it liquid? I mean, what you know? <laughs> bubble mix is technically liquid, but if they're bubbles, I mean, I would prefer like a squirt gun. You know, or a stream of liquid over a bubble. Uh, you know, once we do them, we might change our mind, but I'm... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you know, like Wash Buckler, it kind of made a little sense. Anyway, hold X to perform improved liquid attacks depending on the current color. Okay, so all that really needs to say is it's going to improve them. And then we've got For Science. Uh, hashtag now. Hold Y. That's trending. Uh, hold Y while in normal form to constantly spew liquids the damage these enemies in the nearby area, so that might be interesting. And follow the formula. Mixture modifier gains additional effects depending upon the liquid color. Not intrigued by that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> We're gonna come down here. Uh, this would be the Brass of the Beast path. So, Better Beast is up first. Hold Y to perform enhanced and longer versions of unique beast attacks. Then we've got Juiced up. Melee attacks in beast form. So they are still calling it beast form, are they? Uh, melee attacks in beast form do more damage. I'm a monster rar. Alright, totally unnecessary, but whatever. Uh, feed the beast up next. In beast mode, hold Y. What? Melee attacks in beast form. In beast mode. Which is it? Have you adopted the ways of wisdom and you just finally gotten rid of beast form and converted to beast mode? Because that's what you did in the final upgrade on this path. So we're officially calling it beast mode from now on because beast form does not roll off the tongue nearly as well. Uh, it's a more accurate description in my opinion. So, in beast mode, hold Y to perform... See, we even say it cooler, right? Melee attacks in beast form. In beast mode, see there, it's it's just more uh, more intimidating, I think, more exciting. In beast mode, hold Y to perform better beast attacks. Press X after using better beast attack to do more damage with your claws. Soul Jim, this could be his saving grace. It's spiked punch. <laughs> uh, while in beast mode, thank you. They did it again. You see, the last two are the most important, right? And they're using beast mode. Although here, it's capitalized, and here it is not. I'm available for proofreading, uh, if they are so inclined. While in beast mode, that should be capital because it's important. Uh, hold and release X to pound the ground and knock all enemies in the air. Okay. <laughs> you could read that totally wrong. Uh, knock all enemies in the area. Alright, so... Uh, I'm not generally a fan of the attacks that, you know, I like knockback attacks. But I don't really care for the ones that are just like, you know... The enemies get knocked back, but it's into the air instead of side to side laterally. You know, it's vertically. Uh, they're neat, they're interesting, but I just, I don't like them as well for some reason. So, I don't know. This is like the least excited I've been for any character in this game. And I think it's because of his pose. I really do. I mean, that hasn't, sometimes, you know, if you've watched me for a while, certain poses I feel are dictated towards a certain path, and it's hard for me to not take said path with said pose, but this one, uh, I mean, obviously, if you go by the aesthetics of the figure, you'd need to take the top path, right? But, uh, I'm not a fan of the figure, so I might do the bottom path, I don't know. We'll see, maybe he'll be t turn out to be amazing, I might like the bubbles, who knows. But, uh, let's get out of here, and da -da 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 -da. so that's what that looks like, that's a cool color in there. And it's 
very nice that they took the time to make it sway side to side. Although, from this perspective, it looks like his left side he's holding like a miniature teddy bear of himself. <laughs> when it's... Okay, that's just his arm and the glove, so the color scheme kind of... Like, at that right angle, it's almost like he's holding a teddy bear, you know, or something. Uh, anyway, I have not forgotten his bio, Fear Not, if you're new to the game, or Pop Fizz. Pop Fizz back in the day, uh, pretty cool. He has a great light core figure, and I also like Punch Pop Fizz as well, but nobody is quite sure who Pop Fizz was before he became an alchemist, least of all Pop Fizz himself. After many years of experimenting with magical potions, his appearance has changed quite significantly. In fact, no one even knows his original color. But it's widely known that he is a little crazy, his experiments are reckless, and the accidents they cause are too numerous to measure. See, he sounds like such a cool, fun guy, and then they strap him with this tuba. And I just... I don't know. Well, again, we haven't tried it yet, so it might change. But, uh, understandably, he has had a difficult time finding lab partners or anyone that even wants to be near him. In hopes of making himself more appealing to others, he attempted to create the most effective charm potion ever, but that just turned him into a big, wild berserker. Or maybe that's just how he saw the potion working in the first place. So, that's our story there on Big Bubble Pop Fizz. I think the name bothers me, too. Big Bubble. Eh, you know. Uh, personally, since they chose to retain Beast Mode and refer to it as Beast Mode, I think he would have been better served with a Beast Mode pose. That's just me. But uh, we'll come out here again. We haven't tried it yet. So let's just no, let's not try it. Let's do the secondary attack first. So uh, bubbling beast form as it's known now. So we're going to press the B button to transform into a beast and press the A button to attack with our claws. <laughs> Mississippi. Thirty Mississippi. Can we do this forever? Or does it like wear down once we start being active? I mean, thirty seconds is a considerable length of time. If he can stay in beast mode, as we'll call it now, that's a pretty significant upgrade in itself. So I'm content saying he's going to stay here. I don't know about you. Now, once I start doing the primary attack, will there be a meter that shows up, or will he just stay in that forever? Let's stand here. Oh. What? I'm pressing the... <laughs> oh, it's X, right? Okay. I'm Nintendo. It looks like he gets combos out of this too. Okay, I think he's going to stay in this as long as we want him to. So let's see what we get. 25, 38, 25, 38. So, okay, 25 to 38 twice, and then 38 to 53. So, and he can stay like this, which is cool. Now, when we revert back, there we go. Which do you prefer? This guy, or that guy? I don't know, I'm inclined to go with beast mode. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and uh, pop back over here. Maybe we'll like the bubbles. Who knows? So all we know to do is press X. Okay, so that might actually be decent. Obviously, it does less damage, but it's got great range on it. I'm glad they bounce too. That makes them a little more bearable to me. If they like floated over there with glitter and unicorns, and uh, it wouldn't have been as pleasant. <laughs> Do I sound grumpy? I don't know. It's just his figure. Just, I feel like they did a disservice to him. Can we spend it? Yes. Okay, so this is not near as bad as it could be. If you go by text alone, this is like the worst thing that could ever happen in the uh, But when you actually try it, it's not terrible. So we'll have to, we'll take his base up and we kind of see. That's it. Sound effect might give me a little bit. Now the big question is, can we jump and do the bubbles? Oh yeah. They seem to last. How many hops can we get out of them? Oh hey, free cash. Missed it earlier with Nightfall. I actually had Nightfall and Splat because multitasking. Three, four. I think it has four hops, essentially. So, not too shabby there. Um, let's come up here and can we jump and enter Beast Mode? 
Okay, so the answer is no. Let's get ourselves a Gribal here. Alright, so it's one at a time. Take out all these Now I can jump in the air. Okay, so he's gonna arc over, but they do bounce back to the enemy sometimes. They don't seem to trail in by any means. I mean, if I shoot them over there, they're coming back unless they bounce oddly. Now let's spam it. I'm just gonna stand here and take it okay. Worked out well. Well, uh, not too shabby. Now it's time for beast mode. We'll do the same thing here. We'll just get some wombo combo. This movie. There you go. So, the biggest advancement here is that he can stay in beast mode. At least in my opinion. So, uh, the bubbles are way better than they look by text and through pictures. So that's the good news there. Um, I th think. I'm trying to decide if I want to include the initial quest in the introduction video, or if I want to include it in their quest video. And I don't know. I think I'll hold off here. But uh, I think we've covered everything. This is uh, Big Bubble Pop Fizz. He's got Beast Mode back, and he's got the bubbles, which again they're not they're not terrible. Um, the upgrade path is like I said. We'll take the base upgrades, kind of see where he stands. And, uh, so for myself and Big Big Bubble Pop Fizz, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. How does he stack up in your personal opinion of Pop Fizz uh, past and present? But uh, we'll leave it at that. SkylanderClub.com. If you're super into Skylanders, we'd love to have you sign up on the forum and join us. Oneofweezum.com is my personal site. You can follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Search me on Google Plus. Whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks so much for watching. We will catch you back here for more Skylander Superchargers.